Hello and welcome to blog number 33, me learning to play in the Melodeon. Um, if you've been following my blogs, you may have seen this particular box before. It's an ancient Sibylla Brandt uh, box in the keys of G, C and F that I bought last summer, summer 2012. Uh, had it done up by my good friend Martin White and um, <laughs> it's a bit of a funny old thing. It's a long story to this, which you, you, you've probably seen in a previous blog. If not, uh, check back and see. Um, yeah, it's very old. This is 1930s, so you're looking at about 80 years old. The bellows are, are a little bit sort of sloppy, has to be said. Um, and why am I using this again? Well, <clears throat> I've actually got a part in the play Allo Allo, which I'm sure lots of you will remember as being a very funny TV series from the 1980s mainly. Uh, set in wartime France and deals with the escapades of René, the uh, cafe owner. Anyway, I'm in the play, I'm one of the airmen, very small part, but it uh, leaked out that I, I play the Melodeon. And if you uh, remember last year I did a little blog, um, well I did a little recording of me playing a French tune that I'd written on my Roland FR18 uh, electronic melodeon and it was just a little germ of an idea. Anyway, the director of the play picked up on it and asked if she could use that tune for uh, Mad uh, Madame Fifi, which is the, a song that Edith, Renee's wife, sings in her cabaret act, which is obviously really dreadful. She's a terrible singer, everyone's groaning. Anyway, to cut a long story short, I'm playing the Melodeon in Allo Allo, playing this tune that I wrote. I've had to sort of doctor it a bit to, to fit with uh, uh, the, the words of Madame Fifi. Uh, <laughs> I must admit, uh, I'm looking forward to it, it's going to be a lot of fun. And this obviously looks the part, very wartime um, kind of box, um, and it sounds the part as well. The problem that I have with this is that there's one bit where it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on on the pull and I, I almost run out of arms and bellows but uh, uh, as you know I've been getting into three row a lot in the last year or so only recently have I gone uh, sort of back to playing um, uh, one row, two row and the sort of more traditional kind of inning and outing playing as I call it uh, but this one definitely needs a three row um, and uh, this box sounds great for this tune, I think. See what you think. tried that bit um, it was just a long sustain but two problems there the left hand was drowning out the right hand and of course it was very very quickly running out of bellows so I'm doing little staccato jabs and then we're into sort of the jolly I'm playing an A major chord with the left hand and a and a F major chord with the right hand, which shouldn't work on paper. Some of you might say it doesn't work, but I really like that. Um, so if that bit. So anyway, um, I'm glad this little box is getting some use. Um, I certainly like the sound of it. Uh, it's a funny old thing. I like the look of it very much and uh, I do like the sound of it as well. So as I say, glad that I'm getting some use uh, out of it. 
and uh, if you fancy coming and seeing me play it in LOLO, please do. It's, it's in aid of Brain Tumor UK, so it's a really uh, worthy cause. And it's on the 9th, 10th and 11th um, of May 2013 at the Towngate Theatre in Basildon. That's my plug over. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this blog and I'll see you soon.